Hi, this is Shivam Rana, founder of House Galeria, where designers connect from all over the world. Thank you for joining us today. We are really glad that you hear us because this podcast was made just for you. We bring your tips, tricks, ideas, and values on architecture. He is designing all kind of properties like residences, offices, commercial buildings, museums, and galleries. Every single project done by Bruno speaks volumes about his character and personality. In this podcast, he will be sharing so many of his experiences with us about how he turned obstacles into opportunities of creating a masterpiece. It is an honor for us to have him on a podcast. So without wasting any time, let's dive into this conversation with Bruno. uh firstly firstly i would like to thank you for coming on the podcast uh we are a huge fan of your work and you are an amazing artist thank you so much for joining us it's a pleasure okay so let's start this session so uh, bruno first of all like uh, we were just uh, talking with the team and the first and foremost what we would like to know from you is like what is your inspiration for designing these amazing projects you have been designing like what is the one thought which goes constantly in your mind while you design all of those amazing projects you <laughs> that, that that's uh, that's very precise well, and very detailed <laughs> but uh, would you like to elaborate a bit now what um, uh, i think that the most important um, material for me is first of all the surrounding Yes. Um, I think that this is better. The well, actually, the work of the architect is to me very easy because um, uh, one can find everything on site. Yes. Uh, if you if you listen the the landscape, uh, the views, the sound, uh, the wind, um, I think that all those elements are maybe ninety percent of the project. uh and if you if you read those points you will know immediately if you have to work with i do not know a vertical building or horizontal building with big windows small windows and so on and and uh finally maybe uh also the 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 target of the wish uh, or the wish of the client uh, is also important but um you know the the the, ta- the the wish of the client is a part of the uh, physical requirements yes uh, the real architecture is to me uh, to be written in the landscape and as i say you um, i really think that uh, please watch watch a, tr- a tree um, or watch an, any kind of plant everything is there uh, but uh, They, they make the job better than than us, and if we respect all the natural uh, uh, effect, yes, uh, or positive um, or strong uh, reading, I think that the building will be. Uh, once the building is finished, it will be there as it was for years or for for century. This is important. Yes, and also um, if you if you allow. Um, Uh, your point of view to be part of the conception of the building, but not the main part. Uh, this means that, uh, of course, every single architect has his own vocabulary. Yes. But uh, by reading the surrounding, you will uh, catch that every single building has its own its own personality, and it will never be the same. Yes. Uh, this is important for me. uh bruno i have one question which you just explained it's a very beautiful thing that you kind of uh, phrase it uh, so complicated so big thing in just few words but because what you just explained if it is so easy to create beautiful buildings or if it's simple to create beautiful buildings why is it not possible for every architect or every designer to make the houses like you build or the buildings you build or the spaces you build um for me it's very difficult to talk about the work uh, done by other uh, people or the architect or the uh, writer uh, i i do not know uh, and i do not want to interfere because um, yes. i think it's it's already um, i i 
I'm so pleased to be able to just to draw those buildings and to, to be part of the construction of them. Yes. Uh, um, uh, I think that I'm working 16 hours a day uh, just to achieve the work and to, yes. uh, to serve the client, my people, at, uh, the team at the office. Um, I, I'm very sure that all, all the people uh, are working by thinking they are working good. Uh, I'm nobody to say if this one is better than the other one. Yes, know. yes. Like, and uh, and like, uh, what's your process of understanding what client needs or what is the expectation of client? Because so many times, clients are not clear what they want. Like they want something, but they can't express it. Like, how do you get in their mind to understand what exactly they mind, what they have in the mind? Um, this is a very positive point because if they knew all the, everything they wish. The, <laughs> they, they do not need us. So, yes. Um, yes. Um, well, of course, uh, you have to be polite with the client. You have to listen to them. You have to take care to pay attention. So it's it's part of the one of the requir requirements. Yes. Uh, but um, the the first meeting it's a kind of communication because uh, you uh, explain. Um, your way of working, and you try to catch their wish. I do not think that uh, the verbal communication is the good one to feel what the client needs. Uh, I think that you have maybe uh, maybe the silence are talking much more than the words. Um, so uh, the architect has to be very op open mind, just to catch. Uh, uh, what the clients need. They will not tell you because they do not know. Well, yes. they know the number of uh, sleeping room, they know uh, the money they want to put in the building and so on. But this, yes. is, uh, this is physical and this is easy. Yes. But uh, later, I'm quite sure that if they, they choose one land, a specific land, or a specific location, or a specific view, Yes. Uh, if you understand the physical, um, uh, the physical importance of uh, the land, and if the architecture answer the specification of this type of land, uh, I think that it will be easy to get the positive advice from the client because even if he doesn't put words to say, "Wow, this view, I love it," or, or I want it to be there because it's so uh, crazy, it's so nice, it's so quiet. Yes. Any any kind of uh, um, argument is good for me. Yes. Uh, but if you catch those arguments and if you uh, prepare the architect for answering those arguments, they will say, okay, maybe the architect uh, understands what I think is beautiful or is strong in the land. And it, it gives me a right answer to those points. Yes. So I do not have nothing else to say. This and is important. And so once more, it's uh, watch and read. Um, yeah. And uh, and uh, uh, if it's possible, like can you can you share one example or one experience where the like what you have shared that sometimes clients don't know they know what they want but they cannot express it, and then we have to read the silence, like. Like you have done or you have read something with the client's mind and you design something and then clients like oh yes this is what i was expecting so can you share some experience or some example yes uh, a very um, clear experience to me um the the house which is named sorry i've got okay um the house on my website which is named uh, named uh, birkenberg Okay. Um, well, we were in the Flemish part of the uh, eh. Belgium. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, uh, if you want, you can also share uh, the picture, or if you want anything, like there is the option for uh, sharing the screen on. Or if I, if you want, uh, I can uh, open your website and you can tell me to open the project. Okay, open the website. Okay. Yes, I'm doing it for you. If I can do it, I will do it for you. Uh, maybe I, I will. Shall I take the screen? Yes. 
Uh, no, 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 no. You uh, no. like uh, okay. I am opening your website, and then okay. in the projects you can because there are a lot of projects you can tell me. Now I am sharing the screen with you. Wait. Yes. Uh, this is your website. Can you please tell me which project you were mentioning? This one. Take this one. Okay. This one. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. This, this, this picture or next picture or which picture? Next, next picture. Yes. Next one. Yes. Okay. Um, on the land, when the client bought the land, uh, it was a huge and very high house on the land. Yes. Um, very dominant and, uh, you know, uh, some part of some countries, people like to show they are very rich, they have a big building and blah, blah, yes. blah. Yes, yes. And uh, when I visit the, the land, where the house, the house was very old and uh, impossible to, to make any renovation. Yes. And it took me maybe one hour just working with the lady on site. Okay. And I, at one moment, uh, I told her, uh, we will take down the existing house and please sit down, down below the tree. Okay. On site, there are two very, very big trees. And I can tell you, I promise you, yes. if you, if you go and you work under the tree, you just yes. feel as a small kids of five year old. Yes. And uh, I, I told her, uh, we will just, with this house, we will just make a connection in between the two trees and the main part of the house will be under the tree. Oh. And um, maybe 10 seconds later, she okay. said to me, okay, the project is done. <laughs> and and I can tell you that the project has been done like this. Uh, if you go to the next um, uh, image. Yes. Uh, you see the, the house is floating, next one. Yes. The house is floating and uh, I kept the relief of the, of the land just, yes. to, just to say, okay, we, we put a house, but we do not um, stick the ground. We just uh, float yes. uh, with a building in between the, the two trees. Yes. We do not touch at all the natural. And yes. if there are two small collins on the, on the land, we keep, yeah. we keep them. Yes. And uh, if you if you go further, yes. Um, and by doing so, I think that uh, you work in the house uh, as being in a, a promenade, a walkway. Yes. Uh, and so, if you if you work, you can carry on the picture. Um, um, look, you see those the two trees are there. Yes. And, uh, you just being inside the house you can feel that maybe you are outside because there are no uh, walls in between inside and outside yes uh, internally there is a big wall which divides the house in two yes one part is for the day one part is for the night yes and uh, for me it's enough um, uh, in the day you are vertical because you walk up yes and so all the views are very uh, straight and, and long on the on the side. Yes. Um, we do not touch at all the two trees, and we just uh, feel like being outside on the yes. other side of the wall. Yes. Uh, you one can find the sleeping rooms, and this is more introvert. Um, and the other side is also surrounded by a, a water plan. Yes. Uh, just to to give the security. But you can see that on this house, uh, yes. what is important? Uh, you can see the big tree on the, the first plan. Yes. But also, uh, the end of the image is yes. not a building. It's yes. also big trees. And yes. so to me, uh, the natural is more important than the building. Yes. Uh, the building stays there as, as a guest. Yes. Uh, you, one can imagine the house uh, being on wheels, yes. go out, and the yes. site is the same. Yes. So I, I'm just coming with uh, a kind of building which fits very smoothly on, on the ground. 
Yes. We do not touch anything, and uh, we are as a, as in a camp, a camper or in a tent. Yes. yes. We are the, the guest of the land. Yes. And one day the house will be demolished, and I hope the tree yes. will stay there. And yes. uh, to me, it's important. You can yes. see also the very uh, horizontal uh, design of the house. Yes. Uh, to me, this is a, an important point. Yes. Uh, we all know, for instance, to give a good opposition, we all know uh, Oscar Nemeyer, uh, who, uh, who made a, a very great job. And yes. he had also a, a good chance to work in the natural. Yes. And uh, very often he said, I, I want uh, to draw a building as I draw uh, a big lady, a big fat yes. lady. And <laughs> yes. he used he use, uh, very good uh, the curve. Uh, yes. And, the circle lines yes. um, to integrate the vegetation. Yes. It's a, it's a, uh, I have a, a great respect for his job. It's a good way of working. Yes. Um, my way of thinking is uh, a little bit different. I think that um, straight line is is a kind of human line. Um, yes. It's very difficult to to find a straight line in, in the nature. Yes. Uh, so I say uh, maybe. The job that we are doing uh, will be uh, in opposition with the natural because yes. it's a straight line. Yes. But also, I yes. hope and I think that the the curved line of the natural yes. will be will win uh, will be better than the yes. straight line of the building. Yes. So it's also one way to give the priority to uh, to avoid to give the priority to the building. Yes. And uh, when I say horizontal, well, some building can be vertical when it's necessary, horizontal yes. it's uh, very quiet. Yes. Um, I, I feel good with the horizontality because yes. mm, my personality. Yes. And uh, like uh, I have just one more question uh, which I really wanted to uh, ask you. So my uh, question uh, to you is uh, that as an as a designer as an architect we are always playing what you just say that uh, when you are inside the house you feel that you are outside the house and you can just sense the trees are out there and then the landscape which you have used it which is the existing landscape so like as a human we all have five senses and do you think it is important as an uh, architect or as a designer that we should use those senses and then because one of my friend uh, architect friend he always says that use those five senses and create a new sixth sense so that someone can enjoy their space. Do you also have something similar in your mind while you design the building that you play with the senses or you do something which uh, uses our senses in order to create engagement with the space? Well, um, it's, a, it's a good question. Well, I think that we have five senses. That's yes. a reality. Yes. Um, another reality, but I, I do not know because it depends on the people who are uh, working in the building uh, yes. The sensibility of the people, uh, are they open mind, closed mind, uh, do they feel good, do they feel happy, do they feel yes. sad? Yes. And so the reaction can be completely different uh, for one people and also all this man or woman feels this day or this yes. moment. Yes. So I, I, will not, I will not talk about the sixth sense uh, yes. because I do not know. But yes. But what I do know uh, yes. is um, by, by creating, uh, when, when you make architecture, you create an uh, envelope, yes. uh, a surrounding, and by chance you can enter in this envelope. Uh, when you enter the envelope, it's completely different as being outside. So you, are, you become actor of um, the frame which is given by the architecture and this frame can be from inside to inside also from outside to inside and also sometimes through because you can have maybe five six uh, different uh, sheet of glass and, and watch through um, of course um, all the sense will will be wake up with the architecture uh, all of them. Um, and very often I think that the people do not put words or they do not um, 
Maybe they do not want to talk about this because they are coming in a building, they walk, they talk to friends, blah, blah, blah. What is very important to me is when they go out of the building, maybe uh, at one moment they say, oh, I lived something special. I do not know what, but it was some, something occurred. Yes. Uh, this is important. And even if they do not know what, um, they, they, they enter not in communication with the building, but they enter in communion with the building. Yes. It means that it's like, like a prayer. Uh, you open your mind, you, you can watch the surrounding, you can feel, uh, you open your sense. Maybe you are not uh, very aware about the things which happen, but something occurs. And if they go out of the building and uh, the, the same evening or the day later, they said, maybe I, maybe I lift something uh, which made me happy or sad or which made me feel being a small kid uh, under a tree. Another tree, yes. Okay, then I made my job. Yes. Um, this is for the people who want to again, go out of the building. Uh, what is more important, um, you know, in a, in a shop you enter and you go out two minutes. In a restaurant, it's two, three hours. Yes. Uh, in a church, maybe it's a little less, less one hour. Uh, but in a house, it has to work for one life. Yes. Uh, and also the scale of the connection or the communion in between the people who are leaving the building yes. going out and staying in the building, it's something different. Yes. So it means that uh, you have to be cash for the people who are going in and out. Yes. Um, this is the less important, but for the people who are living in the house, um, all the feeling that they might have in regards, let's say, the, the seasons, yes. the spring, the winter, yes. and so on, yes. also the time of the day, morning, uh, and so on, uh, this is very, very important. So uh, maybe a small hole in the, in the roof will give you uh, uh, a sun watch, a sun clock. Yes. Um, uh, this is important. And, and therefore, I'm coming back to the uh, composition of the building. Yes. Um, if you say, OK, the house that we saw, it was a single building house. And by doing so, I've got all the facade of the building and I can play. Yes. But also, as I have only one level, I can also play with patio, with roof lights, yes. and so on. Yes. So uh, you take the, uh, let's say, the, 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 uh, the way of this, the, the way that the sun rise and go down and so on. And you can see that, OK, if I put my wall like this and the roof window like this, I will get, uh, I will have a north facing room. But because of the patio, I've got the south. Yes. And so uh, you you can see you can say very strongly, yes. I've got a, I've got not the best orientation, but I give you the best lighting. Yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, at one point, if you give me a lamp with a perfect sea view. Yes. And if I say, uh, okay, all the rooms have to be facing the sea view because it's so nice and you pay it yes. uh, a fortune. Yes. Okay, I'm doing my job, but is it the best way to do? Yes. Uh, you will not be in communion with the la land. Uh, I think that to me, of course, you, you need a part of the house with the sea view, uh, no doubt about this. But some part of the day, you also maybe wish to be uh, facing the forest or facing the shadow or facing an ugly city, I do not know. Uh, and so this will give you a uh, several moment if you're day, in your day. Yes. You can be open mind, closed mind, uh, happy, unhappy. And see, this is also the role of the architect. Uh, it is to give, to answer uh, all the different times that we, you wish to live in one day. 
and one yes. lives 24 hours. So. Yes. Uh, so I think that uh, I agree with you. The building has to be very simple, and it seem, it it has to be written as being simple and easy to draw. Yes. No doubt. But it has to be rich to offer you all those scenarios, all those way of living. Uh, so the the work is endless, finally. Yes. Um, this is for the, the yes for the composition. Then we can talk also about the, all the materials that we will use. Uh, uh, this is also very important. Uh, shall I start with this uh, subject? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yes, yes, yes please. Okay. Um, I'm working now. Uh, for 30, 37 years already. Yeah. So I'm getting Go a little ahead. bit old. <laughs> um, during the first years, uh, I was so happy to be yes. able uh, uh, to use the uh, white. If, if, uh, I'm sorry, if I can interrupt, actually, uh, what uh, we were planning that uh, mm -hmm. now in the second session, we will start from your journey. Like, how did, how did your journey begin? Were you a okay. good student? So if you allow me, like uh, uh, like we take a two minute break and then mm. we start from your how your journey started, how your student life was and then how you, uh, like your whole 37 years of journey because we want to show to our viewers that part of your life. Yes, uh, yes. So uh, Bruno, can you please uh, share that part of your journey where you uh, shared your experience of how like this journey of as an architect, like as an art artist, this journey began in your life, like how you visited LA and then you visited uh, southern part of America and then uh, with your school and then how everything like that part of your journey which you shared with us. Yes, of course. Um, so uh, note that when I was young, I was not um, aware about architecture, what's architecture, mm, nothing. Uh, so the first um, year of school uh, was for me a disaster because I, I missed it. And uh, to me, maybe it was better to go and to sell petrol or to be a barman, I do not know. Um, but finally, uh, by visiting some buildings and maybe uh, one important one is a chapter which are, uh, has been done by um, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright in Los Angeles, uh, and secondly, the one uh, done by Miss van der Rohe in Barcelona, uh, yes. um, the German pavilion. Uh, to me, it was clear that uh, architecture will be my target, but uh, how and why, um, I do not know. So I, I came back to the, to the school. Um, uh, it was not easy, but finally, uh, only by walking a lot and reading, thinking a lot, uh, it was possible for me to get uh, the degree of uh, architecture. Uh, and at this time, um, the Belgium architecture was uh, quite um, difficult for me because I was not uh, uh, catch by any kind of uh, specific architecture in Belgium. Uh, yes. I, my way of thinking is, has always been uh, modern architecture, um, so it's uh, to avoid any kind of decoration and to work yes. out with the correct proportion um, on a very simple way. So, uh, firstly, I went to Peru just to uh, understand uh, the organization of the society. Uh, then I went in uh, uh, South Africa. I started working with uh, Graf, uh, I think a, a good architect at this time. Yes. Um, and also, and mainly, uh, it was possible for me in such a country to find a work which can match with my pencil. Uh, only my pencil decides which kind of architecture I will do, and so I have to listen yes. my hand. Yes. Uh, and at this place, it was um, not easy, but uh, possible. And um, uh, Bruno, uh, if you allow me, I just have one question. Like, like, was there any specific reason, like, why you choose to go to Peru and then Africa? 
Um, Peru, it was uh, a kind of uh, fighting with me. Uh, with uh, three of my friends at school, we thought that uh, all the projects we, um, that we made during the school were too easy because always turning around Brussels, Belgium, and so on. And for us, it was uh, important to, to fight with the town planning. Uh, in Peru, it was uh, easy to, to learn the attraction of the city for the people who were living and working in the um, uh, surrounding in the in the um, to, to which were able to provide food for the country um, and unfortunately there were too much uh, attraction to the city and so the people were coming from the uh, out of the city up to the city and so the country it's getting poor every day and we studied the, uh, this kind of attraction and we came back to the government of Peru to suggest um, uh, an organization to keep the people in the countryside yes. uh, in order to, um, to keep a, a good situation for those people and to have uh, schools, uh, yes. organizations, shops and so on. Yes. Um, so it was quite interesting, but, but more town planning specification and also uh, economical point of view and yes. things like that. But as you know, uh, to be an architect is not only uh, drawing uh, buildings, it's also, um, you have also to think about the, of the organization of the society. Yes. And as we were young, it was um, important for us to fight and to, to learn something. Yes. Uh, in um, and South Africa, it was different. Uh, um, we had to leave Peru because of the Sentier Lumineux. It was, uh, we were attacked by local people with guns. God. <laughs> and like, like I am, I am still very uh, in shock, like how uh, young graduates out of college have the confidence to go and uh, try to approach the government that, okay, these things needs to be done in your a region mm -hmm. to organize the people in the countryside like it's really amazing that you had that kind of confidence while you were young um i think at, at this time it was possible to have and to live adventure <laughs> nowadays nowadays it's more difficult i think that nowadays <laughs> I, I nowadays everything is forbidden yes and uh, everybody is afraid Yes, yes, yes. Very afraid. Um, not necessary to be afraid. You have to, to go and go and yes. jump, jump yes. into the pool, even if it's cold. <laughs> um, um, uh, Peru was uh, uh, different. Um, first of all, I liked the African way of life. Yes. Uh, you, you more uh, of the, um, those people. Yes. And also, uh, South Africa was at this day, at this time, it was uh, 1983. Yes. Um, it was very well organized and the quality of architecture was okay. And uh, being very young, it was um, a good challenge. I knew uh, a cousin of mine uh, was able to give me a, a sleeping room. <laughs> uh, so I left Belgium and the, the first two or three months I had to borrow money uh, to friends just to eat. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> but it's uh, once more when you are young, it's, uh, yes. it's possible. Yes. Um, and, and so slowly uh, I had the chance to, to work at the office of uh, Graf. And slowly I learned the, the job of architect. And uh, two years later, I opened my own office in South Africa. Oh, and, and which city uh, did you open your office? Uh, which, which uh, yeah. No, no, which, which city in South Africa? Which uh, city? Uh, jo Johannesburg. Johannesburg, uh, okay. And, and how, how young, young were you when you opened your office in South Africa? Uh, I was 20, 26 or 27, something like this. Oh, that, uh, that must be really 
uh, shaping thing in your life because you are so young in another country you are starting out venturing out on your own it must be really exciting and kind of yeah. uh, difficult at the same time yes uh, well uh, as you are young you you do not care about the you are not scared about the difficulty and <laughs> and every single new project it's a it's yes. a new life so yes. you think that it will be perfect it will uh, just go yes. uh, without any problem um, but of course after years you can see that it's not so easy yes. but it's, it has been done um, uh, in a few years later it was difficult for me to stay there because all the uh, international uh, work coming to uh, South Africa was stopped because of the uh, fighting about uh, um, apartheid and so uh, all the people coming from abroad uh, had a lot of difficulties. Yes. And uh, with, my wife, with my wife, um, we came back to Belgium in order to start with a family, mm. children. And so uh, I start my, my work in Belgium uh, and I had to, to study once more uh, during two years uh, in an official uh, so, office in Belgium. So, so Bruno, you, you, you got married in South Africa? No, uh, if you want in, to know I, everything from me, uh, <laughs> when I when I left uh, when I when I went to South Africa, yes, I came I came back I came back uh, in Belgium, and I asked my wife to marry me. Oh, and so it was possible for her to come with me and to to get the green card, and okay. and and the most important thing. It was possible for her to get a free flight ticket because <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were married, and um, at this time uh, South Africa paid uh, the, the flight ticket to the to the okay. wife or to the. Okay. So it was uh, also an, an economical reason. <laughs> yes, yes. And my wife uh, worked also in South Africa as an interior architect. Oh, so you, you, your wife is an interior designer. Exactly. And and uh, she now she works. Uh, she practices in Belgium, or she practices like with you. Like how she practices now? Uh, she she doesn't practice anymore, but she okay. helped me for every single work that we have to do with the life. So <laughs> she's working more than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good to know. And and uh, and after like. Uh, you uh, after like how many years you came back from uh, South Africa? Uh, three years, uh, from three four years. I do not remember, but something like this. Yeah. So after that, you came back to Belgium, and then you uh, did that uh, stage or uh, internship for two years. Yes, and then I op well, I joined two friends of mine in an office, and I still stay uh, there. Uh, but nowadays, I'm. Um, well, um, the, the, the office is the same, but uh, now I'm the, the main uh, architect. Uh, architect of the office, yes. Mm. Okay, and, and it was in which year, like when you, found, like uh, in which year you founded your office in Belgium? Sorry, on which? In which year did you started your office in Belgium? I think uh, 19, 1990. 1990 amazing uh, bruno like uh, it is it has nothing to do with this talk but i'm just telling that i was born in 1995 so, <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so know, you know i could be your father <laughs> <laughs> yes my uh, my bad professional got, yes my yes. my my uh, my first son is is born in 1988 Oh, 88. So he's older. He's older than you. <laughs> <laughs> your your son is elder than me. Your practice uh, yeah. experience is elder than me. Like you, you have much much more wisdom than me in every sense. Yeah. And but uh, uh, you will reach my age one day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure. And I hope uh, one day I can also reach the kind of wisdom you have with arts. Because of course, it depends on you. I mean, uh, I'm trying my best with what I'm trying. Okay, but uh, if you try, you will uh, reach it. 
Yes. And and uh, Bruno, is there any specific, uh, like it is not just for me, for all of the viewers, like is there any guideline or is there any advice which you gave to every youngster, like uh, who are who are kind of coming in this uh, artistic field that we should follow? Listen your body and listen your stomach. Uh, if your stomach uh, says that you wish very strongly to do this kind of thing, do it and don't give up. Never give up. Yes. One day, um, one day the solution will come, and uh, uh, you you cannot lie with your body, with your way of thinking. You have to, yes. to be honest yes. with you. Be honest yes. with you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bruno. Thank you so much for sharing this advice. Thank you so much uh, for your time. And I, I maybe, really, yes. Maybe, maybe a, a second important thing. Yes. Um, when when you uh, communicate about architecture, it's not a communication; it's a kind of communion. Uh, and so you have you have to enter the head of the people that you are talking with, and by doing so, maybe they will reach your head. Oh! Uh, once once this is possible, everything is possible. Yes. So, so you are suggesting that when we are designing something, we should go into the, we should try to go into the head of other guy or other person so that through them, we can reach our head, like our senses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, um, we have to share some uh, image with the imagination, not with the computer. Yes. The, the image which is um, um, full of imagination can be a kind of poesy. An yes. image which is done by a computer is dead like this. And so I started to design a new tab. Uh, we design also some switch. We yes. design the doors, uh, uh, the lighting, and finally, slowly, uh, we can see that uh, nowadays we can design building with all the details which are integrated and which are done and prepared by ourselves. Yes. And uh, believe me, it's this kind of thing, the choice of the material which is getting older and better, and also the integration of all the techniques in the architecture. I think that. Um, it answers the requirement of the, the building be part, being part of the natural and which has to disappear. Yes. And also inside of the building, all the technique and all the things which are uh, necessary, but which doesn't make uh, beauty, we catch them and we work with them. I will yes. give you an example. If you have a big wall, a simple wall. Yes. On this wall, you you wish to hang a painting. Yes. Our painting. And down below, you have a stop contact. Yes. And a little bit higher, you have a switch. Yes. Which is the uh, art piece? Is this the painting, the switch, or the stop contact? I don't want to have this discussion. The wall is a wall, and the wall has to offer a surface to hang something uh, or to just to, to, to give the good proportion and that's it. Yes. And so to me uh, today, one join which is not necessary, which stays in the architecture is a fault. So I'm getting crazy, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but it gives me a good way to, to find the way to work properly. Yes. And I think that with the team uh, that we have now at the office, um, um, we know where to go yes. uh, and we can say to the client, okay, come with us, put your mind in our mind yes. and it's, it's great because the yes. communication is uh, very yes. positive. Yes. And, and, and in your studio, like uh, what uh, kind of team you have, like all are the architect or some are architects, interior designers, some are artists, like how the composition of your uh, team in your studio? I must say that even the secretary, uh, she's, she doesn't have any uh, 
paper saying that she is an architect. Yes. But maybe I, I can say that she is an architect. So uh, <laughs> yes. we are we are not a big building, uh, big office. We are fifty. Uh, we are uh, twelve or thirteen architects. We have okay. one interior architect, one designer, okay. one okay. draftsman. But okay. even the designer, to me. Yes, yes, with, yes. The, with the time is yes. better than an architect. So yes, I, I do not see any edge in between architect, yes. interior architect, designer. Yes, um, we are doing the same job. Yes, 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 completely agree. And uh, uh, Bruno, if you allow me, like I have one question, like the journey which you have explained me, like uh, as so many of our viewers are young architects who are venturing out in the world to start their own practice. So when you mention that 50% uh, of work which you are doing, it is in your country and 50% of your work, it is abroad. Like, what is the way to build that kind of practice that uh, when you want to go out and get the clients, international clients, like, how do you uh, do that as a practice? Do you have to brand yourself or like, like, like what was the process which uh, helped you get there? You know better than me. <laughs> I do not. I do not know. Uh, or did you came uh, to me just to get the inter interview? I do not know. Uh, what I uh, what I can say that if you wish something very strongly, yes. Uh, for instance, I I want to. I was 25, 30 year old, and I I wanted to to draw buildings that I like to draw. Uh, yes. And I can see that in my country it's impossible. Yes. When you open your mind, you yes. talk to people, uh, you jump in a flight if it's necessary. Yes. And uh, if you have to dance rock and roll, you dance rock and roll. <laughs> I, 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 I do not know. And then later, yes. um, how do the clients, uh, why the clients are coming to you and not uh, to another one? I do not know. Uh, mm, okay. It's the life, it's the... Uh, any kind of decision drives you to a, a certain camino, yes. a certain way. Yes, ways. yes. And, and in your last 20, 25 years of uh, doing this job, like, do you see any evolution of uh, uh, the process of designing things with the help of softwares which are coming or with the help of modern technologies which are... <laughs> so it is, it is still uh, the uh, paper, pencil and the yeah. mind, that's it. Yeah. Um, I've got, I've got um, something to say. Yes. When you share the vision of your project yes. uh, with your clients. Yes. And if you draw something like with something like this. Yes. You talk with your client and the image that you have in your mind. Yes. Will go in the mind of your client. Yes. Without any physical image. Yes. It, it will be a dream. It's a poesy. Yes, yes. As long as we talk with this, uh, the client is open mind. Yes. You do not have to talk too much. Yes. Once uh, everything is decided, maybe you can uh, work with a three dimensional image and so on. Mm. But to me, uh, the latest, the better. Why? Um, an, an image which is done by the computer yes. will give you the, the feeling that the, 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 the study of the building is done and yes. everything has been decided. Yes. You can see the color of the stone, uh, you can see the color of the floor, you yes. can see also the, the kit plane in the yes. salon or yes. in the garden. Yes. And you say, oh, that's what I will have. And the yes. client will say, Okay, I'm happy. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm happy. Yes. Yes. Uh, to me, to me, this is a start of the of the composition. It's yes. not the end. So maybe once the building is finished, yes, completely. Maybe you can start with the three D. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I, I uh, well, um, you you know, one one line and talking with. Uh, uh, a sketch yes that's the better and so, so i say to the, to the to the young people who are yes. making study yes uh, to me if if i can say something uh, uh, do not use your computer during, during your study 
okay. maybe for the mathematics and things like this. Yes. But uh, please try to draw and learn to draw. Yes. This is important. But Bruno, then uh, I get to meet so many students who always complains that they are not very good at sketching. They try to improve their sketching, but it's not like they are good. So like, what, what will you uh, suggest to people? Like, like there are a lot of people who, who are not very good at sketching. What should okay, they I'm do? Very, I was very bad in sketching and I'm, maybe <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still very bad in sketching. <laughs> but, but even a bad sketch is better than a, a very good 3D. Uh, mm. And, you, and uh, you know, uh, open open the uh, Google and you watch uh, art, modern architectural three D visualization. Yes, there are so many mm, ugly buildings. Yes, the, yes. the images are, are setting so nice. Yes, to me, yes. So uh, I say to the young people, please draw and and to to be able to uh, draw. It's a good condition and a good quality. Yes. Talk with your hands and you, you yes. say to your hand, no, no, I, yes. want, I want the drawing to be like this. Yes. And, uh, it's important and this gives you a lot of pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, like, uh, uh, like I have one uh, question, like because you have explained me about the process, about the materials, because what you explained me that you decided that for all the buildings, the material which you are going to use, it will be a natural material, which over the time gets better and better. So like now as a practice, do you still follow the same thing or like the material gets keep on changing? Like what's the process no. now? Um, uh, I think that as long as we, as long as we work with uh, natural material, it's yes. uh, perfect. Yes. Uh, I'm very pleased to see the evolution of the treatment of the wood. Yes. Uh, to me, the wood was uh, perfect, uh, but st still stay good during 20 years, not more. Yes, yes. Uh, we made big pro progress. And yes. As long as you work yes. lines with the wood, uh, nowadays it, the evolution is very nice. Yes. But to me, to me a, a good stone, a good uh, brickwork, uh, clay, uh, concrete, uh, but for instance, when I say concrete, okay, everybody knows the concrete. Uh, yes. Uh, that and, uh, yes. Soft and so on. Yes. But you know, uh, building with concrete, it's like playing as a kid uh, on the beach. Yes. Um, some of the oaths we made, if you go to my website, maybe yes. uh, I can yes. show you. Yes, yes, yes. Just give me a minute. I will show you a house we made in nearby Belgium. Uh, yes, nearby Brussels in Belgium. Uh, the house was uh, around a very big tree, and I wanted the house. Uh, to be, yeah. Which 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 uh, one? The, the, down below, uh, uh, on the left, on the left, on the left, on the, no, no, on the left, up, 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 up. You go down. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. This. This one. This one. This. This one. Yeah. Yes. You take the. You see, there is a big tree, and I wanted the house to surround the tree. Yes. Um, take the second image, and you can see that the the concrete there yes. has been laid every day. We laid. Uh, we pull thirty centimeter of concrete. Yes. And the same craftsman, the same man, make the vibration by hand in the concrete in order to yes. uh, avoid the concrete to be smooth. Yes. So it, it means that the concrete is very dirty, can yes. feel dirty. Yes. And, uh, if you go to the other image, I think that we will have, you can see that the, the concrete is like a, a vibration. Yes, um, yes. And so you see there are so many ways to Use the material. Use the material, so it's mm. endless. And yes. today, you ask me if I can find new material. I say, no, no. I uh, I use the same material, but yes, for sure, I will find new way to to pull them, to use yes. them, and to uh, use their quality. So it's yes. endless. And I yes. see that I will not have enough time before I die. Yes. Discover everything that we can do with 
concrete or yes. with stone. With, uh, so uh, it's an everyday work and uh, everyday discovery. Yes, so so in a way that uh, we can say that it is evolving every day. But Bruno, in in this age when people are talking about smart houses, where uh, they are expecting that walls will be smart, furniture will be smart. Like, do you think uh, we will be as an artist, we will be able to retain the experience in the smart houses, or yes. like, what's your opinion on that? Okay, uh, well, uh, smart houses, uh, you mean digital houses? Y yes. Uh, yes, first of all, I think that we have to take care and to pay attention very, very strongly to the quality of the house, of the building, and mainly the, its uh, insulation. Yes. This has to be perfect yes. for the cold and for the hot, for the warm. Yes. Uh, this has to be perfect. Then, uh, if you are very rich, you can play with a lot of uh, technical items and yes. of course you can be 100% um, free from any connection to your building. Yes. If you, if you are not rich enough, it doesn't mean that you, do not, you are not able to do it. So yes. please, uh, we have nowadays, we have to prepare the building for the future. Yes. It means that the insulation has to be perfect. Yes. Uh, to me, the, be the best uh, air conditioning is a tree. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the shadow of the, of the, Sh of the shadow. tree in the summer yes. and uh, the sun go, go through in the winter. This yes. is the best. Yes. So once more, watch the nature. Um, you can also prepare the building in order to, for instance, to be able to use geothermy. It means that you have a small technical uh, room and you can plug, you can start with a small heating, uh, warm up uh, system with gas, very simple. And also, if you uh, allow some connection to the outside, uh, later you can put some uh, tubes in the house and this will gi give you the warmness in the winter and the yes. refreshments in the summer. Yes. It's a little bit of money, of course. Uh, if you are not rich enough, you do not have to, to do it once you build, but maybe 10, 20 years later, you can do yes. it. So I think that everybody has to prepare the building in order to uh, be able to use the data and all the technical uh, installation later. Yes. Uh, you know, as, as I know, that uh, a domotic, for instance. Yes. Um, nowadays, you can have a very nice domotic for uh, $10,000. Yes. Uh, very simple, but it's sufficient for me. Yes. Um, and you can also make the same domotic crazy for $200,000. Yes. Uh, which one is the best one? I do not know. But the installation, the cabling, is the yes. same. Yes. So if uh, if the architect prepares the work properly, yes, you do not have to decide now. Yes. But it's ready to to plug in all the things. Yes. This is important. Yes. And of course, yes. um, by living uh, in the twenty first century, uh, yes, the data system is 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 necessary. Yes. Uh, just for the, to manage the consumption. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, it's necessary. Uh, so we have to, uh, all the architects have to, to take care about this and it's important. Yes. And, and like what you just said with your previous example, like it's not about the core material. It's about how we use the material, how we alter its uses. And it's such a beautiful thing that even in this age when technology is there, we can, according to the circumstances, if someone is not rich enough, we can kind of use the uh, a little bit uh, not very expensive material and use in a way that they also get the same comfort. Exactly. So yes, the choice of well, the choice of the material as long as it is. Um, uh, and I think that you you do not have to be rich to make good architecture. Yes. It's not the money. Uh, it's not the amount of money that you spend. Yes. Uh, which will ensure you the quality of the, the architecture. No, not at all. Yes. But the, the time that you use for the preparation of the, the, the project, the choice of the material, even if it's expensive or not expensive, I do not care. Uh, as long as it, it's 
uh, well used and correctly prepared. Yes. COVID. Yes. And uh, uh, like Bruno, there is uh, something which we, uh, as uh, a podcasters, what we do, and there is this session in which uh, we ask our guests their choices. Like it's a, it's kind of a rapid fire round. And we, in this particular round, we gave like very quickly, we ask you 10 questions. And out of those 10 questions, you select either one of them. Suppose I said that Ferrari or Lamborghini, what's your choice? And you will uh, rapidly, you will answer it. So it's a fun session, which we try okay. to, because it's a more of an intellectual talk. So we try to make it a little bit fun. So okay. if you allow me, I would like to have that, uh, that session with you. Okay. And just... Uh, okay, so uh, modernism or Bauhaus? Modernism. Uh, Corbusier or M.B. Rohe? Corbusier. Okay, mold or fries? Fries. Uh, Barcelona or Madrid? Barcelona. Uh, yes, <laughs> Ibiza or Sicilia? The two of them. <laughs> uh, okay. I would, and, I would prefer I would prefer Corsica or Ibiza. <laughs> and I say, Cors I say Corsica. Okay, okay. So Corsica and uh, mm, uh, like uh, modern or uh, contemporary. Modern. Modern and uh, Zaha or uh, Frank Gehry. Um. They both have my respect. <laughs> that's that's the best <laughs> you can answer. And 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 one last because the example which I started with, uh, Ferrari or Lamborghini. Porsche. <laughs> I think uh, uh, like you you had made this session much more interesting by your answers than we would have expected <laughs> this, this out of, but. <laughs> Uh, uh, but but uh, Bruno, when you explain uh, the process and you said that, okay, what's most important and you showed me your pencil, that this is the process, that your pencil, that does everything with your brain. So like uh, in your process, you don't use 3D images at all or you use them to presentation for the clients? Um, I, I have to use it because the demand is very high. Yes. Uh, but I do not uh, use it well. I use it as less as possible. Okay. And and uh, but, but very often the administration asks a treaty, so I have yes. to give it. Okay. Otherwise, most of the time your presentation is about your sketches and your process is the, the first communication is one hundred percent with my pencil. Okay. And and the process starts with the pencil and then the whole thing goes with the pencil. No. Uh, once the, the project has been approved, then yes. we, we start with the computer with mm. very accurate uh, plans. Yes. But uh, uh, on site, when we make a site meeting, yes. uh, the communication with the people on site. Yes. And, and, and uh, if you allow me, like I have one question, which what you, what you explained me that we need to understand uh, the silence of the client. Like we need to understand what they want by their silence. Like, is there anything or any process which young architects out there who are in, still in the college or who have just begun their life, like they can do as an activity just to learn those signs that, okay, this is what the client want or is there anything which you can suggest? Um, to open the mind uh, and have good conversation with people, um, with trusted people, that's very important. When I say silence, uh, very often, uh, I think that the same for you, it's difficult to say no. Yes. Uh, very often we, we could say, okay, yes, because if I say yes, I will, I think that I please you. Yes. Um, sometimes uh, a silence uh, can say yes, but we try to improve the quality. And also uh, the strongness of a silence when it's very long, a silence says no. Yes. 
and asylum is not difficult. Yes. That's my way of uh, working. I do not yes. know if you if you use the same way, but um, yes, with the client, uh, uh, if if I if I use a sign and, and I watch in your eyes, yes, I I'm, I think I'm quite sure that you will think, oh, he doesn't agree. Yes, but in the same time, this gives me um, the time to think to to a solution, and so. I say no, but I propose a solution, so we yes. can carry on. Yes. If you say no, you close the door. Yes. Yes. And never to, we we never have to close any door. Yes. Because a door which can be uh, negative to start, maybe it will be positive at the end. Very true. Very true. But. Uh, uh, the art is just to understand, to read the silence. What uh, I can understand from your point, because, and and uh, and I think it comes with years of practice, as you have mentioned earlier, that you are putting sixteen hours every day in this art, and this all everything is art. It's not a one-day game. I think. Uh, I do not catch your question. I am saying that the process is long to to mm. get to. Uh, to master this skill of reading this silence because you have been doing this for 37 years you have been doing this 15 16 hours a day so it's not mm -hmm. easier for someone who is no. 25 years old that come and that he can read the mind or something uh, no but it's a quality because the the life is long yes and as long as you learn it's yes. uh, very positive and yes. you 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 do not sleep yes. so uh, I'm sure that even if you are 60 or 70 years old, you yes. still have to learn and that's fantastic. Yes, yes, So yes. stay quiet. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it's impossible to know everything at 25 years old. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's it completely, it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bruno, with that said, like, uh, I really want to thank that I completely enjoyed this uh, session with you and I'm hope our viewers will enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed talking to you because you are a, an amazing person. You are a great personality and it's so much to learn from you. Thank you so it much. A, it was a pleasure. Thank you. I, I, I genuinely want to say that thank you so much for giving us your time. It was so nice to uh, share these thoughts and ideas with you. Thank you. Also, Th it was a pleasure. Bye -bye. Th th thank you so much. Bye-bye. Keep, Have a keep smiling. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Bruno. Have a good Bye -bye. day. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode and learned some new things about design. If you have some suggestions or questions, please feel free to write us at communications at housegalleria.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified for the further episodes of podcasts and interviews on House Galleria. You can also follow us on Instagram for more inspiration on design. Our username is House Galeria. Thank you so much everyone.